How's your cruise so far? <laughs> no, and like nothing has happened really. <laughs> yes. You can imagine how great it's going to be once things actually start happening. Uh, it's very nice to see all of you. How many, how many first timers in the audience? Woo! Oh, this is our uh, red team, right? Yeah! Very enthusiastic red team. Because <laughs> they're all full of dinner. Yeah! I guess it's a I guess gold team, not as enthusiastic as we are. Start playing those minds. I'm, just, I'm not saying anything, I'm just stating a fact. <laughs> Facts are dead, Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good time for facts. Good evening, students. Good evening, Crystal So great. <laughs> it's like a hug just for you. Oh. Every day of this cruise is like Hanukkah for me. <laughs> I imagine that's what Hanukkah feels like. You tell me, Storm. This is exactly like Hanukkah. <laughs> a bunch of people shouting at you. <laughs> Seven days, eight nights. <laughs> it's after that concert. Pretty much. Sure. <laughs> There's some kind of lame dance along the way. A whole shit ton of food. You get socks every night. That's not true. It's still Hanukkah. I'm not here. <laughs> Uh, we thank you for bearing with us as we ironed out some technical details. That's the beauty of the late show. You get the show where we ironed out the details and screw ups from the early show. The price that we pay is we've all had dinner, and so we're all like, oh, okay. So you're going to get creative new screw ups. But first, a few very brief morning announcements. All of your merchandise, if you pre-purchase it online before the cruise, should have been delivered to your escape room at this point. If there are any errors or issues with uh, your merchandise or it didn't show up, please go to the info desk, the Sea Monkey info desk in the atrium on deck one in the middle of the ship. They will get you taken care of. The performers in all of the different main concerts over the course of the week most of them will have merchandise of some sort for sale, and we'll have a satellite store set up uh, in on deck two starboard, basically right up there, immediately following all the main stage shows. Uh, so feel free to partake and spend freely. After you have drank freely. So you will spend even more free. No, not free drinks. You had those this afternoon. That's all the free you get. <laughs> Don't start with me. We've got all week to be together. Uh, now I've lost my place. Oh, you made him lose his place. He lost my place. No, I found it again. I got it. He's got it. He's got it. Uh, there are numerous places to find the uh, accurate, updated schedule for the week. Uh, there is the online schedule, which if you have the internet, is jococruise2018.sched.com. There is uh, the physical and digital signs posted throughout the ship. Those are updated daily as well. There is the daily newsletter that you get each evening, uh, includes the next day's full schedule. There is also, and I still can't believe they actually called it IPTV. <laughs> well, I haven't watched that channel before, let me say that. It's <laughs> right, the Russian channel. <laughs> I just had to say it, I just said it louder. <laughs> Uh, but the on-demand system uh, on your TV includes a Joko info tab, which contains each day's schedule. And also, if you connect to the ship's network, not the internet, but just the network, and you go to navigator.hollandamerica.com, it brings you to their main splash page. There's a section, I believe, called What's Happening on Board. If you click on that, it has the whole week's schedule there as well. So there are many, many ways to see what is going on. Are there other descriptions there as well? Uh, in the uh, the Navigator version has descriptions, and 
the uh, schedules that are posted in the elevator wells of two, three, and nine include all of the event descriptions, including the shadow cruise uh, events, if you need more detail. Uh, there are a number of new sea monkeys. How many new sea monkeys do we have? We, I know you said it before, but let's hear it for you again. For those of you who need uh, maybe a little assistance or just want to go uh, hang out at events that uh, help you get into the general Joko Cruise vibe, if you would go give a demonstration of the yeah, Joko Cruise vibe. <laughs> It's just chill, but it's also very cool, and you get it. Uh, there are a number of new monkey-oriented and new monkey-friendly events happening, including uh, this evening, new monkey karaoke. We have uh, numerous karaoke sessions throughout the week. Tonight, everyone is welcome to attend and encouraged to attend, but only new monkeys may perform tonight. So feel free to go and cheer them on. Uh, there's also a New Monkey dance party happening this evening, also in the Queen's Lounge Culinary Arts Center. That's really just a dance party everybody can go to, but it has the words New Monkey in the title. <laughs> Do with that what you will. But there are events in the next couple of days that are more, hey, you sit down and play a game with some folks and team games where you will meet people in a way that's just kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, speaking of monkeys of different types, please give a hand to our army of volunteers, also known as the Helper Monkeys. We could not do this event without them. They will, if a Helper Monkey is on duty, they will be wearing a pink vest. Uh, if somebody in a pink vest asks you to do a thing, we ask that you please comply courteously. Uh, and also, in addition to the helper monkeys, we also have, for the first time this year, a number of new monkey RAs. So experienced cruisers, they will have a pink sash on. I know every time I say the word sash, I have to do the sash. <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows, nobody knows what a sash is. Is, uh, is it a cummerbund? No. Yeah, no. Oh, sash. Uh, it's a sash. It's a belt you wear on your torso. Yes. Uh, they'll be wearing pink sashes. If you, see, if you see someone with that sash, they are full of information and are happy to help you. Uh, feel free to take advantage of their knowledge. <laughs> Just their knowledge. <laughs> Unless that is what you are both into consensually, in which case, go to town. <laughs> uh, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. There are uh, hand sanitizer stations throughout the ship, you should use those as well. But hand sanitizer does not kill everything, and in fact does not kill what causes norovirus. So make sure that you are not existing just on hand sanitizer. Wash your hands regularly. We cannot say that enough times, but we will anyway. Wash your hands. All right, red team. Uh, you are, as you all pretty much know at this point, you've been divided into two entirely equal, non-competitive teams. Neither is inherently better than the other in any way, shape, or form. Look, I'm required to say this. Uh, but every squadron needs a leader. Uh, when we first started Joko Cruise, we started with a monarch of the seas. He was appointed every year. But we decided, uh, especially since you were split into two different teams, we didn't want warring kingdoms. We wanted two squads who would unite to destroy the Death Star. And so Red Team needs a team leader. And we have determined by random draw your team leader. Are you prepared to meet them? Sarah, would you please bring out the Red Team Leader helmet? There's a bit of an issue that the red team helmet looks identical to the gold team helmet. So to make it very easy for you to tell the difference in relatively small letters, I've written the word red in Sharpie. Should not be any issue from here forward. If everyone would please make the rough approximation of a drum roll sound. It's like they're, they're giving a whale a massage. Your red team leader, a position which confers on them no responsibilities to fill, 
nor any special privileges other than front row seats for every main stage show for the remainder of the event. An experienced, not a new monkey this year, a well-experienced sea monkey as I understand it. Please welcome Red Team Leader, M. Keniston! We're not giving away a new car. <laughs> what would you do with it? M, are you fully? No, okay. I was going to I was going to it, but it's not I was going to ask if you were fully prepared to fulfill the role, but obviously you're already set to go with the whole kneeling act. Right on. Please. consort or companion here with you. Would you both like to please take the seats of power, also known as the pilot and co-pilot seat. It's a good pleasure, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Team Leader. It's good to have a squad leader with a sense of drama. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to wear a scarf. <laughs> Did you make sure you had your keys? It's a very helpful squatter. That concludes our morning announcements. We gotta leave the stage. Speaking of a speaking of a leader with a sense of drama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Colton.